Hey everyone, it's Jason Pannone, Head of Reference and Cultural Assets Manager here at the East Hartford Public Library. With the 4th of July coming up, the, this episode of Raiders of the Lost Archive, I'm going to show you two photographs from our archives of that were taken during the First World War, uh, showing at least one of them showing East Hartford residents, and the other one uh, refers to an event that happened to a soldier who was in France during the time. So with that, let's take a look at the pictures. This picture shows the East Hartford contingent, the, the Red Cross, at a parade in Hartford on May 18th, 1918, where thousands of Red Cross workers kicked off their annual campaign to raise funds to help the soldiers that were in France or leaving for France during the First World War. The Red Cross members would help the service members uh, they were given bags of chewing gum, playing cards, socks, other practical items to help them, you know, ease into army life. And their mobile canteens in France provided donuts, coffees, and a brief respite from the battle and the horrors of the trench warfare. Uh, a lot of people in East Hartford were involved in this. So it's kind of a neat uh, snapshot of how East Hartford helped in the First World War. This picture shows uh, American doughboys releasing a carrier pigeon a, or a homing pigeon uh, out of the trench that they were in. The army, indeed all the armies, used homing pigeons to send messages back from the front lines. It was often safer than trying to send soldiers back uh, where they might risk getting killed or shot or hit by a sniper or something else. Um, Pigeons were used extensively in World War I, not only to carry messages, but also as to take aerial reconnaissance. They actually would strap miniature cameras onto pigeons and send them flying over enemy lines with these cameras, and they would take photographs of the trenches and other enemy uh, positions and then come back. It's really um, kind of an interesting piece of military history. I know that there is an exhibit at the International Spy Museum in Washington, D.C., there was a room just dedicated to homing pigeons and how they were used during World War I. The East Hartford connection is that uh, this photo is not of the actual incident, but there's a story that Charles Hartz, who was a farmer from the Burnside section of town, he enlisted in the army and he became a bird handler with Company D, the 360th Field Signal Battalion of the 81st Wildcat Division. In October 1918, during the Meuse-Argonne Offensive, Hartz was with an infantry battalion that was almost surrounded. He released a pigeon that flew back uh, to battalion headquarters with a request for reinforcements. They got it in time, and the, uh, his unit was given help, and the battalion was rescued from destruction. So kind of interesting, that role that East Hartford played um, in this part of World War I and just in using pigeons. So there you go. Um, I hope you have a very happy 4th, or if this comes out afterwards, that you had a happy 4th and a safe 4th. And uh, we'll see you next time. So until then, be well. Make sure to wash your hands frequently. Keep wearing your masks. Practice safe social distancing. And we'll see you next time. Bye.